Hey everybody, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Last time we reached, uh, what's this place called again? It's got a weird name. Uh, Helois, that's it. We reached Helois and we saw a woman called Teresa while we were trying to uh, find the shipwright guild to fix our ship. And we learnt that because of someone called Dial, who's affiliated with the Shipwright Guild, is wanted, their business has been suspended at the moment. So, we have decided to track down Dial and get him ourselves. That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He's also he supposedly a demon. supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of Ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Hmm. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. <laughs> Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? We also emancipated a cat and got a snazzy pair of glasses. Which <laughs> actually don't look that different from my glasses. So, uh, there's that. <clears throat> oh, I missed this completely. Huh. Alright. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. Um, what is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance alpha area. Excellent. We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of Ease Grand Snowball Fight. Let us toast to our victory! God's this sake. isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. <laughs> All's fair in snow and war. Jesus. That's ridiculous. Oh, this cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. Back in cold my and day. snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that... what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the <laughs> one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. That keeps you warm. Uh, who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. <sighs> sure. <laughs> um, okay. So that is everything in Hedevice taken care of, I think. So I've got to figure out where the hell Dial lives. Um, you got anything for me? Does, uh, current cast out should be able to kill him easily while he's hibernating. I'm going to do this madness and. blah blah blah. Okay, so they're not going to tell me anything. I don't think I can get out this way. No, I can't. No, best to avoid the front entrance. Have I got to go out through the through the side entrance? It seems a little bit dumb, but I guess unless there's something in the abbey, I should probably check the abbey. Anything in the Abbey? Oh, that was pointless. I mean, there could have been like spark police or something in there, I guess. But... <clears throat> I 
Oh, there's another... Another chatty thing here. Ooh. Hey, what a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks mm. to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too with pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Uh. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. You like your keelholes, don't you, buddy? Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Was that on the floor earlier? Oh man, that is ridiculously hard to see. I'm not sure if stuff just spawns or not. I'm still trying to work that part out. Or maybe just sometimes I am blind. Both are... are very possible. Okay, no, these definitely weren't here earlier. A keel held to anyone who says otherwise. What is that? Alright, I'm gonna go and look for that um, talky thing first, because. Oh, hang on. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. <laughs> Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. <laughs> hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. <laughs> I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that at least. If you say so. I'm fairly sure that if anything's come from Velvet, it's probably compassion. But I don't think that's part of being a demon. I think that's just... Oh god, that noise is so horrible. On to Yes. Nice. Lots of stuns there. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Uh, I did not read any of that. Oh, come on. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Alright, what's this? This better be good. Uh -huh. Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite really? an elegant name. My sister yeah. loved them. Oh, flashback. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Um, that didn't Not sound much good. longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. That doesn't look right. The time is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no, 
I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. I wonder what happened to his arm. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what Princessia's signify? Betrayal. Uh, what? Oh. That's not what she said before. Uh, I guess that's her, her meaning from now. Okay, I don't mind like the walls grabbing. It's the screeching. The eagle screeching hurts so bad, and it's gonna jump on me as soon as I turn around, isn't it? Oh no. Oh. Oh, I can't get out that way. Oh, I still got two of them there. Uh, how do I get around? How do I get around? Go away, go away, go away! It just hurts. Uh, can I get them both without sliding down? No. God damn it. Oh, screw off. Right. Got some of that. And you have some of that as well. I have more for surviving the first Come wave. Come on, really? Ah, oh, that one's directly in the way, isn't it? Oh, it stopped. Thank God for that. I see a village. Let's go ask around. Oh, that's a shortcut back down. Okay. All right, let's check out the village. Exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No, it was no. an orc. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. Really? It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. Oh. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Hmm, perfect. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? Hunting lizards. We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The she looks bored. Incident. Yes, I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Eh, not if we do it first. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Pardon? Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine. You can tell me. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. Oh, you don't say. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. 
I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Apples. Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? Nom nom nom. Hmm. Huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Oh. Huh? Hmm? That's what she's we lost. We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. Wow, that's harsh. She can't taste anything. Damn. Um. Okay. Well. Uh. I am going to stop this here. And next time on Tales of Berseria, we will explore. I think it's. Beardsley we're in? Beardsley? Beardsley? It just flashed up, but I, I'm horrible at paying attention, and that doesn't say anything. Alright, so yeah, next time we'll do that. See you guys then.